Hi Fools, welcome to another video from The Motley Fool. I'm Owen Benelak. Now the Winter Olympics are underway in Russia and the hunt is on for the medals. Gold, silver, bronze. Everyone wants gold of course. It's a bit like the investing world. There's a lot more column inches written about gold than about silver. As for poor old bronze, that's pretty much out of the picture nowadays. Silver is an interesting metal. It's actually a lot more useful than gold. You can use it in a lot of medical uses. You can use it in electronics. I found out today from my colleague Mark Rogers that it's a big component in solar panels. Who knew? Um, and that makes it a lot more useful than gold, which is really only good for bartering in the desert come the apocalypse, possibly for getting married and making wedding rings and whatnot, particularly if you're Indian. Indians import a lot of gold. Um, so silver, if you wanted to go and invest in silver, you could of course buy some silver. It doesn't rot, so you just put it on the shelf. Or you could buy an ETF, perhaps silver ETF, or you could invest in a mining company. There's a company which goes and extracts silver, obviously it will benefit, silver price goes up, and also it has a lot of silver under the ground, typically, in its reserves. So it has a kind of giant bank of silver, effectively. It has to get it out, that's the snack, but that is another way of investing in silver. We've got one of the best silver mining companies in the world in the UK, it's called Presnillo. It's huge, top three player, sometimes top one, depending on how production's going that particular month. And it is um, on a tear this year. Shares aren't doing much so far in 2014, but Fresnillo shares up 20%. Pretty good. Silver's up about 3%, so it's doing much better than silver. I don't really think that's the geared effect of silver coming into play there. I think that's just, it had some problems, and some of those problems have um, quietened down a little bit, shall we say. Another way to invest in, uh, in silver, or you might think another way to invest in silver, would be to buy shares in BHP Billiton. This is not a company that we normally associate with silver, uh, but it's actually one of the top three producers in the world, again, depending on which Tuesday you do your maths. And it's um, a huge miner. It's a massive diversified miner. Uh, and that's kind of both the strength for how it gets silver, and it's also the weakness for buying shares in BHP Billiton to invest in silver. Uh, the, the thing with silver is it tends to occur with other ores. It tends to occur with gold, pretty handy, also copper, just due to the uh, geology of how these ores are originally deposited in uh, melting magma and whatnot, you end up finding them together. So what that means is if you mine a lot of copper, as um, Fresnillo does, for instance, getting its silver, you can sell some of the other stuff, uh, maybe underwrite some of your production like that. Similarly, if you're BHP and you're ironing, uh, sorry, you're mining things like iron ore, um, copper, uh, perhaps not so much it's coal, certainly not it's petroleum, but it's, it's minerals. They're getting a lot of silver as a byproduct. They do have some really good, sort of quite pure plays on silver, but the company is so vast that they just get swamped. This is a company that will do probably about 40 billion, 42 billion, something like that in sales in a year, make profits of about 13.5 billion. Really, its silver operations are just not going to move the dial compared to its iron ore, coal, petroleum, potash you name it, even uranium probably does more than silver. Um, so that means that even though it's a really massive producer, as I say, probably in the top three in any one particular year, it's not actually a very good way to play silver. It doesn't look expensive, P of just less than 12, and you get 4.1% dividend yield. Probably not a bad way to get exposure to mining as a class, but not really a good way to invest in silver.